subscribe our channel knowledge distributor for latest technology and smartphone videos iphone 10s versus iphone 10s max versus iphone 10r which is the best one to buy that's the aim of this video to decide which one are you going to go with here the 10r being the latest one that just released of all three of these i've been waiting to do this comparison since i knew these phones were coming as i knew it was going to be confusing this year now i want to let you know right away this review is going to be pretty subjective my own experience my own opinion so just letting you know that right away okay so let's talk about the price to get things started for the iphone 10s this is going to run you 999 to start and the price goes up from there so that's a thousand dollar phone the iPhone 10s Max is going to run you about 1099 to start. So that's over a thousand to start. And in some countries, it's even more than that for all of these iPhones. The iPhone 10R being the cheapest here starts at 750 bucks. And that's significantly less than these two premium iPhones. And it goes up from there. The sweet spot probably being that $799, 128 gigabyte model. Okay, so in terms of key specs, iPhone XS gives you 5.8 inch OLED screen, 12 megapixel dual camera up to 4K 60 on the rear, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Apple A12 Bionic, and a 2658 milliamp hour battery. The iPhone XS Max takes it up to a 6.5 inch OLED screen, 12 megapixel dual 4K 60p camera on the rear, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Apple A12 Bionic, and a 3174 milliamp hour battery, so the largest of the bunch over here on the 10r you do have an lcd 6.1 inch screen 12 megapixel single camera with a 4k 60p video capability you have three gigabytes of ram and a 2942 milliamp hour battery they all have a similar camera actually the same primary camera it's just these two have a secondary lens for telephoto zooming as well as object detection and portrait this one doesn't give you 3d touch like these guys do so you're going to notice that right away ip68 on both of these only ip67 over here so these are a little more water and dust resistant and i find that the off access viewing on the screens of the 10s and 10s max is better than the little bit washed out when on the sharpest angles of the iphone 10r so those are basically the main differences between all three of these when it comes to the key specs if you really want the juicier screen you want the iphone 10 s and 10s max if you can live without it this offers like 90 percent of what these phones offer okay so let's talk about the build and the feel in the hand now all three of these are extremely premium and this one has aluminum sides whereas these two do give you stainless steel sides that's basically the only difference when it comes to the build quality now a lot of people do like aluminum over stainless steel so i'm basically calling the build quality equal on all three but you can say that the 10s and 10s max stainless steel is a little bit more premium to me it's really a personal preference they all feel premium now the 10s is the most ergonomic easy one to use in the hand the iphone 10s max for me has been the hardest to use one hand I almost dropped it a couple times and you need two hands for this one there's no split screen so it doesn't really take advantage of its size and the sweet spot really is the iphone 10r this one feels closer to the max than the smaller one but still not so large that it's unmanageable it reminds me of like the one plus six for example that size frame it's a really good size and i think that most people will enjoy this form factor over this one being a little bit too small and narrow maybe for some on the iphone 10s and this one being just a little bit too large so for me the iphone 10r hits the sweet spot when it comes to the feel in the hand but these two right here are definitely the most premium feeling with the 10s max being the one that feels like you paid the most for it okay so let me talk about my feelings with displays now let's just be honest the iphone 10r is out of here when it comes to these two these are the better displays i just got to be honest with you now the 10r though as its own as it stands on its own is a pretty nice display it doesn't show through camera that well and there's bright lights that it's not as high resolution but the iphone 10s is a much higher resolution and it's definitely seen when you are reading text and that you know like in a news app for example and you could see that the bezels are much thicker for the 10r will this bother most people probably not but i'm giving you my take on display and in, in order like this i think the 10s max has the best display has the most pixels the largest the most beautiful here of all three then I would have the 10s next and then the 10R. So it goes like this, 10s Max, 10s, 10R. Now the display on the 10R doesn't give you 3D touch, which is not really a problem because it has this nice haptic feedback and I don't think most people use 3D touch daily anyway. But if you did, you will be missing your 3D touch. Okay, so let's talk about the software between all three of these. We don't gotta talk much about it. It is iOS 12.1 
on all of them and it's not really different on any the only difference is is the camera gives you 2x zoom on these guys and 3d touch for the 10s series that's all that is really different here in the software you don't see any other difference so whichever one you buy you know you're getting ios you know you're getting a smooth experience so yes software is pretty good they're all going to be updated for quite some time okay so let's talk about my performance thoughts all three of them perform the same i haven't seen any difference on any of them in terms of everyday performance seven nanometer chips a12 bionics on all of them they're all built to last and they're all very fast three gigabytes of ram doesn't really matter we've seen eight plus seven plus before with three gigs of ram we've seen the iphone 10 with three gigs of ram and it showed no signs of slowdown so none of these do either so anyone that you do go with you're going to be very happy when it comes to the performance so there's nothing really to speak up there they all have an upgraded gpu and yes the 10r games just as well as these phones and they all stay pretty cool under that performance okay so when it comes to their cameras the only real difference between these two is that the max does give you the 2x zoom so does the small 10s and that's about it they basically have the same cameras in here and portrait mode is a little bit different for the iphone 10r you can go ahead now on ios 12.1 and change the depth before the fact let's go over into portrait mode here for this device on the camera and you could change the depth before the fact up here in the f sign but you can't do it without a person you can do portrait mode on these phones without a person you could use any type of object or stuff like that so you know serious photographers are still going to want the 10s and 10s max but you can still get some serious photography done on the iphone 10r but if you want every bell and whistle you want these two right here it just gives you a little bit more i don't know if it's enough to justify the cost extra over these but it does give you a little bit more take a look at these photo samples of the devices they all have the same camera so i'm just going to be showing single photos and let me know your thoughts on them So which one to buy in terms of audio? The iPhone XS Max has sound the loudest of all of these to me. The XS is about the same as well as the XS Max, but the XR is a little bit lower in my experience, but still very loud speaker. So I would not make my decision based on, you know, speaker performance audio. None of them do give you headphone jacks and none of them will give you a dongle in the box for plugging in a 3.5. So you have to buy a dongle with all of these. You might want to have wireless headphones if you're picking up one of these phones. Okay, so in terms of battery life, this area actually has a clear winner. The iPhone 10R is the best battery life I've seen of all three of these. It makes sense, lower resolution screen. The 10S Max is right on its heels, and this one is significantly less, about like 35, 45 minutes to an hour less than both of these, maybe almost two hours less than the iPhone 10R in my experience. So the 10S, you don't want this for battery life. If you want battery champs, you got to decide between the Max or the 10R. Okay, so phone calls and connectivity. At first, the 10S and 10S Max had some issues. It's been fixed in the latest iOS updates, but I got to tell you, in my experience, for the first time in years, we have three iPhones that all perform good on phone calling. I haven't had any dropped calls for the 10R. I did have one on the 10S Max and one on the 10S, but since the update, no drop calls since then. So these are all pretty competent phone callers if you do do phone calls still. Okay, so here we are at the conclusion. You notice throughout this video, they all have similarities, but you might still be confused. Let's break it down. Let's make this simple. For the iPhone XS, this is probably the more boring phone of the three just because it looks like last year's, but it does have all the same technology as these two. If you like the 10 from last year, you didn't buy it and you still don't like these two, these two being too big for you, or the 10R, you just don't like that LCD screen. The 10s is the small, compact, premium iPhone. If you want that, get the iPhone 10s. You'll be happy. If you wanted a larger phone than the iPhone 10 last year, like I did, that's why the 10s Max of these three is my pick. Get the iPhone 10s Max. You'll be happy if you want a large screen competitor to those Android phones that are really large, but you want it in that premium iPhone body. You're really gonna love 
the iPhone XS Max. It has the most pixels, the biggest battery of these three. And it's just the most, like most technology Apple has made on a smartphone right there on the XS Max. Now, if you wanted to never pay $1,000 for a phone, the iPhone XR gets quite close to these two and you'll be very happy and you'll feel like you got such a great value with this smartphone. Also, if you don't like those colors on a XS and XS Max, you have so much color choice for the XR. But the XR is gonna be really for those people who didn't wanna pay over 1,000 and those people who have an iPhone 6S, 7, they skipped out last year and now they have another option they might wanna go with this guy. But I can tell you right now, if you're into tech and you pay attention to specifications like display, this one will disappoint you if you do pay attention to detail. So don't settle for the 10R if you know you like really beautiful displays. You're really gonna want the 10S or the 10S Max. And that's it for me. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you're new here, consider